ओके अलकुम हेलो वालेकुम ओके सो एंड आई थिंक वी स्टॉप इन द फॉर द डिमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द वीडियो एंड आई वुड लाइक टू कंटिन्यू एक्चुअली दिस वीडियोस is uh, regarding the 3d modeling uh, we can if we have sketch we can do it or reverse or sweep or uh, building the skin this is the surface and uh, this is for the blade generation we can uh, there is a, for the blade generation there is a software dedicated for ensis to for the blade generation So you can import the blade geometry or load the blade geometry, the flow path, and then you can define the blade or the later another other issue. For creation of the geometry, uh, either you create the geometry in X Y or Z X or Y Z plane. If we have a two-dimensional problem, we can select, for example, X Y plane, and then select. In the Z plane, and in the, and uh, if we select uh, select for on it, and we can uh, also we can view and also view for uh, for the for the for the plane, and uh, here from here we can uh, uh, define a new sketch. uh if if i click on new sketch then a new sketch will be uh, inserted in in this plane or what what also we can do uh and then uh, we can uh define our sketch here uh for we you can you can draw this sketch by whatever you can want to draw and then you can define your constraint and your dimension what i mean by this for example if i have and if i have a circle i want to to draw i just drop drop it in in any in any direction if this circle i want to uh, for example i want this the center of the of the circle for example to be coincident is is the origin then i can make coincident between this and this for example so in this case the the uh, and then if i if i made another constant from this so i move uh the center of the of the of the of the circle uh by this way okay if i if i press control z i can undo undo and do and if i press control z i i i mean i uh, undo all this uh, issues uh simply what i can what i can do if if i also i can can if I, if i draw this circle in it in every place uh and i can do this but for example if i want to to, to draw to to put the center in um in the in the origin In each point for example here uh, as you see you can you see this and you like uh, like a snap that um, can define that you are in the in the in the axis but if you came into into the into, into the origin a letter p small letter p will be existing 
only and if only you are in the origin point zero zero. Okay, so then you can click on it and then you can, you can define the, the endpoint for the for the circuit. Okay, if you want to define the dimension, then you can come here to the dimension and you can select on this and here you can define that for example by the meter is one meter only okay and i can uh, zoom to 10 okay so now uh, if i if i if i exit from, from this i uh, and by this way for example i um, I finish my sketch, my sketch here. Okay. This is only this sketch. If you if you want to define the domain around, around this shape, then you have to, uh, to define, uh, for example, another circle here. For example, by this way. And then I can this is my example, this is five meters. This means that uh, this circle is uh, surrounding by another domain, which is the meter is five meters. So I have D1 and I have D2 define my catch for this case. If I can, if I came here, uh, an amazing point here in answer that you can parameterize. Okay. Uh, brother, uh, please give me five, uh, only, only two minutes, only. Okay. I will come back. Okay. Brother, hello. Yes, the no problem. problem. No problem. We got you. Okay, uh, just a minute.
हेलो हेलो ओके लेट्स कंटिन्यू देयर इज एन इंटरविंस एन इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट हियर आल्सो फॉर द डिजाइन मॉड्यूलर फॉर एग्जांपल इफ 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 आई if i want my design point from the mesh point of view to be for example variable i can define uh, that for example g1 g1 is a parameter and also and here it converted uh, to to letter p and also for example if i have d2 uh, d2 is another parameter so i can made like a um, parametric study for my case and then i can easily change the, the dimension for, from the uh, parameter set okay for example uh, this is uh, my my design point one uh, d1 uh, is uh, 1 meter if it is 0.5 i can change it 0.5 and uh, for example this is 5 okay so Uh, directly, directly here yeah, you can, يعني, you can, I can uh, select here update all design points. Okay. So in this case, uh, since it is updated, okay. Mm -hmm. as you see here uh, then uh, d1 became 0.5 and d2 became 5 so this is an interesting point here uh, for for parametric uh, for for the parametric study uh, using using the okay uh, this uh, this is uh, somehow i mean a brief uh, for the two dimensional Uh, we will start by the two dimensional for three dimensional and we can start another session for the three dimensional model but now this is for for the two dimensional for the two dimensional problem uh, if i if i if i if i want to to delete everything i can click on start over and uh, and uh, i have new uh and white white um, uh, white case i can select on x y plane and uh, for example if, if it is in the isometric view if i select on x y plane i i can here for look at face of plane uh, so then i can move into the normal normal coordinate uh, it is better that you check your units before starting your model For example, if your model is very very big, uh, for example, for the real problem, for the, for the hyperloop, for example, we are going to simulate five kilometer length. So this, in this case, I can enable large model support for for the grid generation. Okay, for the grid generation. If my model is small, I can go, for example, to millimeter. Or I can go to micrometer or here foot or inch, whatever my my units are. For example, now by default in uh, in the scale of meter. What we will do, uh, for example, uh, for in this one blend, I can insert new sketch, and in this sketch, for example, if I can select to uh, draw a rectangle the first point of the rectangle for example in the uh, in the in the origin point and the end point is here for example for example and uh, then i can uh, define the dimension the length and also also the, the width for example the length a meter The width is 0.2 meter. And then I can this. Uh, 
for example, this is my. So I have H1 and V2. And again, I can, for example, V2, I can modify directly, or I can parameterize V2, the, the distance. Here, this is our, uh, our very simple domain for the flat plate with the length in one meter. And for, for the boundary layer planning uh, case, I assume that uh, my my height is about 0.4 meter. So okay. And um, of course, if if I went to 0.05, I think it would be better. So maybe maybe I will I will go to 0.05 meter. But I think it's better. Okay. Uh, because the thickness of the boundary level will be in millimeters. So. If I want to capture the boundary layer, uh, it's better that I focus my grid on, on the near wall only. So um, I, I think uh, this, this would be a uh, yeah, good enough dimension for my grid. Then from, 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 from this sketch, I have the sketch. I would like to convert it into, into, the, into the domain. So I will generate a surface from concept. I can generate a surface from sketch. Surface from sketch. So this is my sketch, sketch one. And for the operation, I will select add fusion. And then I will generate, generate my, 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 my surface. So now I fill the surface, the, the sketch to the surface. This would be my my domain, basically. Then I can uh, I can find find that this surface is fluid, and I can name, for example, this is fluid. Okay, so. As you see, and now the the, uh, the the and when it was solid. Excuse me, doctor. From from where you uh, find the rate? Because uh, record uh, flag is covering. Uh, okay, here generate. Uh, do, do you want me to, to repeat, to repeat from the beginning? Uh, Said, do you want me to, to start? Yeah, I, I, the, the, the step of generate, how, how you do that step? Hmm? What, what do you say? Generation. You, you mentioned something about generate uh, the, the how to fill the okay the rectangular. Okay, uh, I will I will repeat from here. I I delete I delete the surface. Uh, I select on the sketch after after I generate uh, my sketch. I select on the sketch and I came to concept surfaces from the sketch. Okay, and I select my sketch for the operation. I ask for at user and then generate. The, the body that generated is solid, but our case, this is fluid, and I will change the name for this 
link. And then click on generate. So now I have the computational domain. It is fluid and uh, it is uh, well defined. Uh, but uh, I will go to, to the filter, select edge. Here we were in uh, paste, but here I will select edge. And I can select, for example, this is my inlet. This is my inlet. This is my inlet. Inlet. This is my inlet. And this is my outlet. Outlet. And this, for example, this is my plate. This is my plate, and this is my uh, uh, upper. For example, yeah, this is my upper. So I. But is the last, is the last option that you when you uh, give a. Uh, uh, I I select. Feet. Okay, I I I select on the edge. I select edge and I went to name selection. Name selection. Okay. I, I am named still. I select this edge for inlet. I select that edge for outlet. And this edge I name plate. And this edge I name upper one. This is only in name listing. Name listing only. But inlet and outlet are keywords. When you type inlet, this would be defined in fluent uh, automatically as a velocity inlet. And if you type outlet, this would be also uh, another keyword for pressure out. For plate, uh, for any other name, this would be plate, would be wall, and upper wall, this would be also wall. For example, uh, now, uh, as you see, Danny, uh, in the geometry, it is uh, uh, marked by by right mark. So this means that you will define your, your geometry. Then uh, the the other uh, then we are ready uh, to go to, to the to the grid generation in the in the mesh tool. In the mesh tool. Um, Simply, we can we can say that say that um, uh, the, uh, we have to focus our grid near near to the uh, to the to the wall. Hello? Okay. So now we have the inlet, the outlet, we have the upper wall and the plate. We need to focus or our study aims to study the, the, the boundary layer near to the plate. The upper wall will be sliding wall, so uh, and this means that there, there will be no, no huge stress. Uh, near to the to the upper wall, so we only we need what we need is to focus our grid near near, near to the to the wall, okay, and um, this is our uh, our uh, uh, now I, I I'm going to 
to define, uh, for example, uh, what is the first layer thickness that we want to, to do, okay? Uh, for example, if the velocity is 50 meter per second, and uh, for example, so the first layer would be the, the distance about 0.0005. Okay. Now I would I would like to show you the difficulty. Okay. So uh, we are going to set up the sizing for this. For this T, okay, for example, for this one, we will select one by one. Element size, if I have, for example, element size, number of DPM, and if I have a bias. So the the first layer is a uh, uh, by this division, if I have 100, if I have 50. So then, and the first layer is what point seven micron. So uh, if if I went to to bigger bigger scale. I think this this is near to if I if I if I compare to, to this scale, this distance is five micron. From here to here, it is uh, close to five micron. Uh, where that uh, I should go to seven micron, or y plus equal equal one. Okay, so this means that and I, I can. I will define 50 element here, and also I will duplicate, duplicate, duplicate this into into the into the into the outlet. But I I have to make sure uh, for the direction because the direction of uh, of the growth rate will depend on the direction of the element. So now I have to I have to invert. Okay, I have to invert this. Okay, because the direction of the element in this direction, in this direction actually. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, this is 
for example, to control the number of grid uh, in this two element, for example, I have uh, to, to go for 100 elements. So if it is 100 elements, so I would have I, uh, um, if I went into a thousand element, so for thousand element, uh, uh, the first layer uh, would be one millimeter by seven micron thickness. So the aspect ratio for this element would be um, very big. We'll see now. We'll see now what what I mean. Okay. So one one of the the possible limitation is the uh, uh, the element aspect ratio. What what we mean by element aspect ratio is that, for example, this is the first layer thickness, and this is the one millimeter. The distance in this here to here for the first element, we assume about five microns. And here from here to here, this is one millimeter, which then means this is five to ten to minus to minus six, and this is one to ten to minus three. So this means that the the uh, the ratio between this and this is around two thousand more than 2,000 times, which is uh, an, uh, unacceptable. This means that the element is, uh, uh, is not, uh, uh, the quality of the element is not good. So what I should do, either increasing the number of elements, for example, from 1,000 to 2,000 number, 2,000 uh, elements, uh, in order to, to decrease from 2,000 to 1,000, the, this ratio, or I should go to uh, يعني, y plus, not one. I should go to y plus, for example, five. Five, okay? If I went to y plus five, uh, I will lost the viscous sublayer detail. So I will so the solution will model the viscous supply, but I don't have solution for, for the viscous supply. I have solution for the buffer layer, for the log layer, and other layers. So this is the complexity of of the Y plus in the grid, uh, basically. Did, did you get did you get this point? Hello? Can you repeat that, Yes, yes, yes. Huh? Please repeat that. Uh, the, the complexity, the complexity for the, for the white plus is that, can you, if you, if you want to white plus one, this means that the, the element quality would be a uh, critical, critical issue. And also the number of them, because my computer, my computer cannot, for example, uh, when uh, uh, I, I forget actually to, to select uh, that I want a mapping, mapping grid. And also, I think also I, I will go into
Okay. Maybe now we have Peter. Okay. If you if you able to see this, this is uh, three to ten to minus four. So approximately from here to here, this is three to ten to minus four. Okay. The uh, equality for the grid, I can go to check the aspect ratio, which is now it is twenty-three. Twenty-three the maximum. But look, look here. Look here. Here I have one point one. Okay. And here I have one by okay. In this case, okay. Are you are you are you able to see this? Yes. Okay. So uh, the the first layer from here to here. Uh, okay. This is about two point five ten to minus five. Okay. With his I mean, uh, maybe we can go to y plus by uh, this way. Example, if I want to write plus one five, this would be three point seven five. So, yani this this grid, yani corresponding to y plus one five. Okay, so maybe I would have, yani my aspect ratio is twenty three point point seven eight, which is acceptable value. The aspect ratio up to 400, which is acceptable. Okay, so if 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 I went to example, uh, if I went to have a growth rate 1.2, look here, it will become a much much critical. So aspect ratio around 900 900 as you see the the distance between this edge to this edge is much worse much worse so yeah, we have uh, uh, if i went to to to, to this for to focus the grid Near to the boundary layer, maybe I should go for uh, two thousand number two thousand element here because the distance is quite and is one meter because I consider one meter for for the length of the of the plate. Okay. Okay. So now. The aspect ratio is decreases to 454, but the total number of elements became 100,000. 100,000 elements. Okay, because this is 2,000 by 50, so I have like, uh, uh, and also another uh, another problem that uh, here also maybe the the element is. Uh, is big somehow big here also where it is somehow so the this is the complexity for 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 the uh, for the grid generation because of this people are um, the best practice is that you are generating generating 
uh, for example, free grid, free grid, uh, for example, coarse, coarse grid, or and uh, medium, medium grid, and fine grid. And then you do your analysis in the same setup and, co yeah. and compare, so, compare the solution between the different, uh, between the different uh, types of grid. This is called a grid convergence study. So uh, the grid convergence will ensure that yani, if, if, yeah, uh, if you allow me to show the grid convergence. Okay. 